Hello, a uh, tour of the model railroad room has been requested, so we'll give you a quickie. <laughs> this is our second bedroom. And my bride has been kind enough to allow us to allocate the room to the future model railroad. What you see here is the track plan for two levels of the railroad. This is the lower level, which I call the parade level. It has enough room for a lot of trains to go around and around and around and to store them. And this is the upper level or scenic level. It's going to be the, the level that has all of the buildings and scenery and mountains, including recreations of the places where we lived, including Wheeling and Bethany in West Virginia. And uh, when we moved in, I requested that two strips be mounted on the wall. This is for the upper level or scenic level. And this is for the lower level or parade level. And you'll see that the strips go all the way around the room, including in front of the window. So, as you saw the track plan, the tracks will be winding around on top of uh, panels mounted on these wood frames that I'm installing. And underneath is plenty of storage. So the latest achievement is this device mounted on the wall. What is this? Well, let's go back to the track plan. You'll see at each level, there's a dark line along the back. That is the elevator track. And the elevator will raise trains from the lower parade level to the upper scenic level. This is the elevator. It had to be constructed and operational before I could continue to build the framework for the lower level. And then the lower level will be completed with its track before I commence the building the upper level. So let's take a look at the components. Ordered from China, a gadget called an actuator arm. That's what's doing the lifting. <clears throat> That's the motor that drives gears that, that force the arm up to raise the elevator. Here's the track. The other components from China are these rails upon which glide bearing blocks. I followed the design of a modeler who lives in Manchester, England. with uh, a design adjustments to accommodate my situation. When I first began to assemble it, it did not run smoothly. And the key to making it run smoothly was to stack the bearing blocks. This caused it to be much more rigid. And so when the lower bearing block was added, the second board was added. The bearing blocks are epoxied together and there's construction adhesive that glues the board together. The motor runs on a 12 volt DC power supply. And so without further ado, 
Let's run the elevator. Power is on. Let's go up. That is the correct level for the scenic tracks. The elevator is as long as the longest train that I want to run. Now let's run it down. And that's the train elevator. Cheers.